Hello everybody and good evening, good, good afternoon, wherever the time of day is. Um, I want to do an unboxing video of, of a very delayed box. It's actually a box that we've been waiting on, I want to say since March. It's been, for, it's, it was delayed, delayed, delayed. I didn't think we were ever going to get it in, but we officially have it in. It is the Loot Crate Star Trek Mission Crate Box. Uh, the theme for this month was... Or no, for March, I think, was the uh, Way of the Warrior from Star Trek Deep Space Nine. So, I feel like it's going to be a lot of, a lot of Klingon stuff related. Um, <clears throat> it does seem like a very, very small box compared to the last one I got, which was like the, uh, the shape of, um, the Starship Enterprise. Or no, not the Enterprise, but the, uh, the shuttlecraft that came with the Enterprise. It was like, kind of like a, one of those type of deals. And... Uh, they kept delaying the box because of mostly because of the <clears throat> actual shipping crate box itself. So they uh, officially finally re shipped it out. I'm very excited. I'm very happy to finally get this in my hands. And I wanted to officially point it out, and I wanted to officially get started with uh, going through and unboxing it for you. So let's see what we've got. Here. Alright, so, <clears throat> once you open it up, you see, okay, uh, quite a few things, actually. <clears throat> um, yeah, well, let's do the first item. The first item that you see is actually the item that they did, they, they did tease the people that we already knew we were going to get. It is the, um, war, uh, I want to say minifigure it's a it's a movie master series limited edition figure it's uh war he's got his battle left right there it's actually really cool um i'm gonna open them up because i opened up locutus and then i like the locutus one that they did for the last box and i believe that the, the one that they teased for the next one <clears throat> was uh seven of nine but nobody knows if it's gonna be the seven of nine uh the Voyager crew version or if it's going to be like the drone version so you kind of see him right there without his battle left bat left I should say let me see if I can <clears throat> get him out with his so his blade it's actually really sharp too so it's not a <clears throat> definitely not a toy I would recommend to those and see if I got this right. Do I have it right? Upside down. And let's see here. This one goes into the right hand. <coughs> let's see, I got one in there. kind of surprised that they actually didn't put this already piece together which is a bit of a shocker and <clears throat> do I have it on there right yep it's on there if I can get his thumb to attach to it see if I can get his thumb <clears throat> Ever goes in. Does it go in? Come on. Uh, okay, so that's how it's gonna look right there. So he basically has his battle left. He looks like he's ready to fight off some some Romulans almost. Uh, it actually looks really cool. I do like that a lot. Very well detailed. Very nicely done. Uh, definitely was well worth waiting for. I don't think it, I'm hoping that it's not gonna be like the only good item in the box because they did say that uh it was available in the qmx retail store so let's see what else i've got here <clears throat> okay and this is actually an item that it kind of fell out of the box it is a klingon emblem sticker uh that's actually pretty cool looking not too shabby and then you have Another Klingon item. 
It's a Klingon magnetic badge. That is actually really cool. Um, so th those of you that like to do it, like, don't want to dress up as a Klingon for Comic Con or anything along that lines, you definitely could. Then you have Klingon Parrot Crew socks. It's got the Klingon logo right there. That's actually pretty neat. And then you have. There's actually a couple items still left in here. There's actually quite a few. There is a Star Trek Discovery miniature command lapel pin. Um, a Star Trek online code to claim some Klingon. Looks like you get some Klingon loot crate with it. So that's pretty cool. Set that right to the side. <clears throat> and then you have a Mirror Universe. Uh, looks like it's a, a Tribble. It's actually, a, yep, it, it's a Tribble. So as you can see, it looks like it's cute and cuddly, but then you have some teeth and that's a not look like it's cute and cuddly. So it looks like these would be like the, the Klingon pets of the Mirror Universe kind of deal. So that's actually a pretty cool box. Um, <clears throat> it is a little bit of a disappointment considering how long we had to wait for it. And I would say like the coolest part of this box would be is like the, the, the magnetic badge, the socks, and probably the war figure would be my, my favorite all time. Because I'm most likely going to put him next to my Locutus one so I can have them displayed together. Uh, but that, that would be pretty much it. I do kind of feel disappointed because I was hoping for some, like, a little bit more out of, out of it, considering how long that we waited for, and, uh, considering, like, this is only, like, the second box already, and I feel like we've been char- I feel like I've been charged for, like, five boxes. I should have five boxes, but I've got two, so. I'm, a, I'm not so sure, sure how I feel, like, maybe underwhelmed, overwhelmed, I, I don't really know. <laughs> so I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you and for liking and subscribing to my channel. And have a wonderful night.